So what we have here is a pretty neat looking uh, DV2000 that was sent in to us. And what we're going to do is open it up real quick and see what's going on with it. We have a power light indicator on the side. So we're going to push the power button and see what happens. Turns on. And we may end up getting a video out of this one. Actually, we don't. So we have a uh, charge light, we have a power light, but no hard drive indicator light as of yet. Push the enter button we have a uh, hard drive indicator light uh, it's actually running and um, we'll take a flip the switch off to the side here uh, for the wireless and see if it goes from orange to blue uh, indicating whether this system is actually booting up or not it appears that it is indicating uh, a boot process. It looks like it's actually going to go into uh, Windows. So what we're going to do is uh, stop this for right now and then hook up the external monitor and see if we get a video on the, outs on the external and see if that shows us what's going on. So as an indicator for us, we've taken and hooked our external up and we're not getting a sync out of it, but our system's still on and we do have a blue light with a hard drive light going. So we know that this is actually going into Windows. It's a pretty good sign. So what we're going to do is uh, turn this system off and then turn it back on and see if we can't get to sync with the external monitor as we go and do it that way. So upon uh, rebooting the system we still see no video on our external. But we know from the hard drive indicator light that it's actually running and that uh, this just went from orange to blue. We know that um, we have software uh, controlling the wireless so we know that uh, this is a Windows boot process and we see this typically with uh, DB9000s that are Intel models to where they will not sync to an external monitor un unless you uh, uh, fix the screen you have to identify that there's a secondary screen in there. It just will not sync. Um, and so that's what it appears we've ran into with this system. But we're going to check it out a little bit more and see what we can't find and go from there. So now we're going to turn this uh, system on and see what happens. Uh, hopefully we'll get it to show some video. And it appears we do. We actually have... Uh, it booting and showing video uh, so we're going to call this system done we'll let it run for the two hours that it needs to run and then we'll go from there so in the end what we found with this system is uh, pretty common with some of these uh, DV 2000s is the fact that um, the uh, hinge switch gets compacted with trash so upon taking it apart we found that there was trash in there and uh, we still performed a reflow but it probably wasn't necessary on this current machine but um, the trash is what caused the you know the the air with it so uh, we're gonna let this run for its two hours like it's going to and like it's supposed to and uh, hopefully everything will be fine with it but there shouldn't be any issues 
uh, but the error that we found and something to keep in mind is that hinge switch right there causes uh, trash gets in it and then it locks the system up and makes it look like the video's out.